Sure, Rick. Derek Cooper is a coach, mentor, and community leader here in Compton. He was shocked and surprised to wake up Tuesday morning with guns and flashlights in his face, even more surprised by how deputies gained entry into his apartment in the first place. But he said it's what happened after he was put in handcuffs that was humiliating and unacceptable. I did not call for uh, the police or the, the sheriffs to come here. There was no need for them to come here. Derek Cooper has lived and worked in Compton for decades. He's the founder of the LA City Wildcats Youth Academy and has devoted his life to working with children. I felt so humiliated and so violated. I've never felt that way in my life. But on Tuesday, this community leader says he was handcuffed and hauled out of his own home by LA County Sheriff's deputies. I wake up to flashlight and guns in my face. It was around four in the morning. Cooper says he was disoriented by the lights and commotion as deputies ordered him to show his hands, get out of bed and walk slowly towards them. I explained to them that I am unarmed. I live alone. Please do not shoot me. Cooper says he was wearing only a t-shirt and asked if he could put on more clothes. He said, no, walk forward towards us. It was terrifying and humiliating. I knew I was going to die that morning. I just knew it because when you hear L.A. County sheriffs and guns are drawn, the first thing went in my mind is Breonna Taylor. You know, um, all, all, all of these people that have died in their apartments because police came in their dwellings. Still without pants or underwear, deputies escorted him outside to a patrol car. I, I just can't believe this happened to me. I mean, my dignity, you know? I mean, you parade me out here on Compton Boulevard with no underwear. I mean, don't, do you have any compassion? I'm a black man trying to do something positive, trying to be a part of something that's gonna leave a legacy for my family and this community. And it was almost taken away just like that. Just like that. And I get it. We're sorry. We, we have the wrong building. It's unacceptable, man. I'm a human being. Cooper says a deputy did apologize for wrongfully detaining him, but he never got an explanation as to why they entered his home in the first place. We have reached out to the L.A. County Sheriff's Department, but have not heard back. I can tell you we're going to be hearing a lot more about this story. Cooper and his attorney have scheduled a press conference tomorrow, 1 p.m. in Culver City. You can find the address under this article on our website, ktla.com. For now, reporting live in Compton, I'm John Finolio, sending it back to you in the studio. John, thank you.